Over the next three days, we're gonna show how RVing is packed with ups and downs. One minute you're driving an ATV for your very first time, and the next minute you're backing your truck into your RV. In my defense, there was a glare. One minute you're in the pouring rain, and the next minute you're inside nice and cozy in one of the most epic lodges you've seen your entire life. One minute you're watching geysers bubble and explode, and the next minute you're hoping that your sewer line that is clogged isn't going to explode. This is RV life. It's epic, but it's not always pretty. It's time to let go and get going. What's up, fellow journeyers? So today we are super excited to show you what we think is probably one of the best well thought out rallies we've ever been to. <laughs> So we're at the Lippert Getaway, prepping to head out on the ATV tour they've got going on today for about three hours. I mean, we've done some off-roading, some other stuff. Four-wheeler, four-wheel drive Jeep. I have never done ATVing. I am pumped to do this. Get everybody ready? Ready to go ATVing? Mm -hmm. I think Marissa's going to be driving us. Let's go. You driving, Marissa? You sure you want that? <laughs> I was backing into our site, and there was a glare in my backup camera. I kept going and going <laughs> and going. I heard a thump, and, and the whole RV kind of shifted. And I, and <laughs> <laughs> I knew I didn't even rush out to go see what had happened. I like just slowly walked out the door like I don't want to see this because yeah. I heard the truck pulling up. I knew what happened. Could have been a lot worse. That's the that's our slogan. It is. Could, Could have been, been a lot, lot worse. worse. So the tailgate still opens and closes. So that's a good thing. Um, if she hit it right here, we'd be dealing with this panel and this. But this is what to watch out for. Okay, but where we're at, we were elevated quite a bit. And so the backup camera came in and it didn't see this because it was so high. So I think that's what happened because it usually does detect it. But pro tip, not always. I Don't trust the beep. Mistake. Don't trust the beep. So there's about 150 RVs here. Most, if not all, of those are here for the rally. So they pretty much rented the whole campgrounds. I had to run back to the RV. Apparently, if you do this kind of thing, bandanas, gaiters, sunglasses. I think there's gonna be a lot of dust. What's the problem, Inzley? I feel more comfortable with Daddy driving. You feel more comfortable. What? More? <laughs> This whole vehicle could flip upside down. Sliding, slamming into the wall. He's airborne. Yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You guys look. I love how you guys look. So you guys look awesome. Apparently, I grabbed the wrong stuff. You get to see the camp store now. Still the lost one. No. Does that work? What would that do? <laughs> How much is that? 19. 19. Minus 30 percent. I'll take that. Let me get something. Just one. Yeah. Let me do two. They sold out with the last one right before I got there, but they had these two scarves. She said they work really well. I don't know. They're 30 bucks. So. Please don't tell me you paid 30. I did. Yes. Marissa's not feeling the handkerchiefs, so she's going back to the RV to see what we've got. Uh. This the one we're waiting on? Yeah, it's her. I'm back. There's no <laughs> air up here. <laughs> no, there sure isn't. Have you ever drove one of these before? Um, okay. I've not. It's just push okay. button like a car. Okay. Knows. okay. And then just your gear shifter. This is four wheel drive. You might need it on one of the rocky inclines we go up. You might not. Inclines? It's it's pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> it's just really rocky. So you'll be fine. She said she All of a sudden I've forgotten which one's brake and which one's gas. I'm really flustered. <laughs> Marissa, gas is on the left. Brake on the right. Uh, <laughs> Here we go, girl. Now or never. I can't believe I'm doing this. There's no D this, for drive. Go into high, go into H. Go high. Go high or go home? Go high. Go high. I know it's not the R. There you go. <laughs> okay. We're in serious trouble. Have fun, guys. <laughs> yeah. My dust. 
house just took on a whole new meaning. <laughs> now I know where they get that. <laughs> I like cleaning off my teeth. Look at her phone. <laughs> <laughs> so we made a quick stop a few minutes ago at the Continental Divide, which is really awesome to think about. Uh, but on, and on one side is Idaho, and on the other side is Montana. You want to be in Idaho? <laughs> All right, JJ, cheese. Uh, definitely a photo op. People were, everybody had time, got up there trying to take a picture of the sign. No, that's what that was. Yeah, that's what it was. I, I was That's why everybody was taking a picture. I was chit-chatting. You yeah. didn't tell me. Well, everybody was taking a picture for a reason. If you see a whole bunch of RVers that travel the country lining up to take a picture in front of a sign, it's probably not just some <laughs> national forest sign. Looks like we're getting off-road a bit here. <laughs> Usually I'm having fun because I like trust that somebody knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as fun when you have to trust yourself. I've always seen people AT on ATVs and I'm like, that looks so fun. I would love to do that. But we've never went out and done that as a family. So this is, this is really cool. And the colors are changing. Look at these colors. It's so beautiful. I think one of the coolest parts of doing this is like, could you hike back here into this wherever we are right now? Like, look at this. Sure, you could hike back here, but how long would it take and how much energy would it take? And we've got our whole family of four back here. And we love to hike. We, we love to hike. Long. Anytime we can hike, yeah. we love to hike, but our family couldn't have made it. No, <laughs> I mean, this is gorgeous back in here. Something we never would have seen on foot. Oh, here we go, girl. <laughs> she, it's like this, like, ripping. Hold on. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> right. <laughs> See? Your mommy See, did it. See, it's all good, Hensley. I mean, we're not totally up the oh, hill yet. We got more to go, but... <laughs> this is the kind of driver that she's timid at first, but then once she feels like she's got the hang of it, like, you better hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a good thrill. Yeah. She has a healthy sense of danger for a little bit, and then <laughs> just all goes down the toilet. I love off-road. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hang on, like a hair in a biscuit. All the times we've ran into anything is like flashing through my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this view. This is my favorite time of year. I love when everything starts changing colors. This is incredible. Instead of doing seminars like they did last year, this year they incorporated activities. And I have loved that because it's such a bonding experience. ATV and kayak and have meals and experiences this year at the getaway. It has been my absolute favorite part so beautiful and i'm just so glad to get to spend it with everyone and share it with you it's your face girl there you go <laughs> yeah how's it looking it looks you can't even tell you it's perfect it's not dirty at all really oh no, yeah no you can't see a thing <laughs> she could, <laughs> uh, by the look of her face it looks pretty bad Nathan. it's not bad no you can't even tell why she look like she's about to it would not be a let me see with your hat up. Oh my goodness, that's great. <laughs> oh, you're not as bad. Let me see you, Nathan. <laughs> it's all right, it looks good on guys. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's like, hey baby. Yeah, we're going through a neighborhood. I'm sure they're like, what in the world's going on right now? Oh, these houses are yeah. so cool. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. How many houses is that? I'm pretty sure it's just one, even though it could be. Look at all the garages. Now they have a tall garage, but like they're both there. Are they wow. maybe?
So if you're at a rally like the Lippert Getaway, one of the things we highly recommend are these bad boys right here. These are electric 3.0s. We have absolutely loved these. There's multiple things that pushed us to electric, but the main thing that pushed us in that direction is the fact that we could put our kids on the back. But let me show you the upgrades we've got that we use to ride around uh, with these bikes, with our two kids who are four and nine. And one thing I love about this whole setup is just how fast and easy it is to put these accessories on. So if you don't have kids, some of these are pretty cool too. So this is the upgraded light. This is the comfort package seat. It has a larger seat with more padding and then suspension right here. This is the lock that you can buy. And the, probably my favorite upgrade that Electric came out with in the last like few months is their long range battery. What this does, it gives you 45% more range slash battery life than the other battery. And for us, having electric bikes has been a game changer with the kids because there's a lot of things we would not be able to do if it wasn't for having that extra <laughs> that extra help with those bikes. We can go longer, we can go further, and we can have them on the bike with us. So honestly, it's like taking right. what we can do to the next level. So if you're looking for an electric bike or if you just need some accessories for your current bike, highly recommend go to lessjunkmorejourney.com slash electric. We genuinely feel like these bikes are the best bang for the buck if you're looking for electric bike for your next adventure. Day two of the rally. So we're leaving this morning. So Lippert has rented, I think six buses, I think. We're on bus number three uh, to head into Yellowstone today because we're about 30 minutes outside of Yellowstone. Uh, and this is also like a dark sky area. And last night, wouldn't you know it, got to see the northern lights. We knew there's a chance. It's supposed to be 3 a.m. and ended up coming early. It was epic. Oh, and just a flashback since I'm flashing back anyways. But flashing back a couple days ago, I love that they're incorporating um, service events. We went with a group of about 30 people to a national forest close to here and uh, help clean up the sites there. Anywhere that looks like people are pushing back the campsite boundary into the woods, if you see cuts on the trees or uh, areas where they've been driving vehicles off-road, we'll try to block that in a little bit, keep the campsite contained to the already established footprint. So clean that up. What do you see that doesn't look natural here, Hensley? Yeah. There you go. It is. Oh. Right. That thing right. Get that get that 60 pound rock up there. There you go, Hensley. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Right. Yeah, how's that, Hensley? Yeah. There's just something about surfing together that's awesome. You know, this is kind of Marissa's line. She says a journey's better together, but it really is. Like anytime you get any excuse to do something with other people, especially fellow nomads, it's awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, All right, let's take these four right here. Just... Bye bye, solitude. Geysers. A lot of geysers. Look, a lot of geysers. Yes, yes. Articles about celebrities that are really nice compared yeah. to the ones who aren't, yeah. you know? Yeah, we're going to smell it right here. See it blowing out? Oh, yeah. Do you think it's steamier because it's cold? Stand right here, Hensley. Do you remember what was the hottest? Yeah, it's different bacteria. It's the different colors and the temperatures. Yeah. See it, buddy? You see it boiling up out there? Yeah, it looks like an animal was in here not too long ago. People have definitely died around these. I can't remember, maybe five-ish years ago. Um, a guy's dog got into one. He jumped in to try to get the dog. And they both did make it. Oh, oh no. Was what was that? The bones, like the back bones, vertebrae. Oh, what wow. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, something had a bad day. Yeah, yeah, Yellowstone has the highest concentration of geyser activity in the world. I want to say, I well, like, like 50 percent. Yeah, it's like 50 percent of, of the whole world activity is here. In this one area, has like a third of that. It's extra steamy today for sure. You can kind of see these colors around the edges. Yeah, the blue for sure. Yeah. You can see where it turns the orange right there. Uh -huh. So in the 1880s. This is Excelsior, I think is how you say it, but it erupted 
like on a regular basis, like 300 feet high. It causes this giant crater out here. So if you look close, you can see how the steam is different colors. Look over here, it's like more reddish, orange. Oh yeah. And it's more blue right here. You can already see. Yeah, that is unique. It's like a red pink and this yeah. is like a blue steam. Yeah, you can literally, before you even can see the water, you can see it in the steam. What are you recording? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> you can see a little coloring in there. <laughs> this is definitely uh, not the, the view you typically get. But <laughs> Grand prismatic means brilliantly colored. Which makes sense. If you want to have a high odd of seeing this without all the steam, like your chances are probably highest in summer, I would assume. You got less rain and the temperature, the ambient temperature is going to be closer to what the temperature of the springs are. So never guaranteed. Yeah, definitely not a super visible day today though. Come uh, Here come our six buses all at once. <laughs> hold on, buddy, hold on. So we're going to build your own sandwich deal here. So we're going to get our food. We're gonna find somewhere to eat. So if you come here and you're here to see Old Faithful, which you probably are, you can check the time right outside the visitor center right over here. So we're in the visitor center right now. Here's Old Faithful. You can actually see it. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, that's. I didn't know you could actually stay here. Yeah, and there's watch an it. inn and a lodge. I think the lodge is where we get the ice cream we like, though. Mm -hmm. All right, we're dedicated. We're gonna get you some uh, in the rain footage of Old Faithful so, going here, hopefully, uh, at some point. <laughs> we're not waiting outside for an hour this time, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Dad, that was in the picture. What was in the picture? She's really National excited Geographic. about the sun. Oh. oh. You may go get a shot of you with that? Like this? <laughs> jump? See, that's what we say. We say people become our extended family, right? <laughs> I'm amazed he's wearing gloves for you. He, he's not a fan. Is that, oh, we got two fingers in that one. It's cracking me up. <laughs> dedication. Cool. Oh. Job. It's still going. JJ is so cold, he wants some hot chocolate. That's the best one we've ever seen. Yeah, by far. You here for some hot chocolate? Keep going. Keep going. And, oh, good, Hensley, good job. The ice cream place was closed. We've literally talked about it nonstop. They probably closed it because it's raining and freezing, but they still would've got business from us. <laughs> yeah, they would've. So we were here a few days ago and we showed you guys the, uh, what's that other place called over there? The lodge? No, this is the lodge, right? This is the inn. This is the inn, okay, so we showed everybody the lodge. Yeah. This is the inn. And if we remember right, this is pretty epic. <laughs> the reason you've got these extravagant lodges in these national parks is national parks used to target the wealthy. Because uh, that's how they were getting their funding. Yes, Yellowstone was no different. So everybody would take a train into West Yellowstone and then they'd use carriages and bring people into the park. People would get to take a train into West Yellowstone and then they'd ride in a carriage into the national park. And so they were trying to bring the wealthy in. Because to, that's to, how they got their funding. Yes, that's how they got their funding. Um, but then over time, it opened it up to the public. And so you've got these super extravagant, honestly, like... Um, Old, historical, yeah. extravagant lodges in the national park. It's... it's and it's amazing. It's really cool. You know, could we afford to stay there? Probably not. But we, but we're <laughs> we still, stay in the campgrounds. That's, what we that's right. We stay in the campgrounds and we come check out the lodges and we show them <laughs> to you. Hot chocolate's great, by the way. Look how tall this thing goes. I didn't even notice that last time. Yeah. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Where does it's like all a basement. There's at least six levels. What does all that go to? I don't know. That's wild. This looks, looks like it is a functioning hotel. Look at these rooms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it looks like you can't go any higher than the third floor. Crow's nest rises 76 and a half feet to the ceiling of the inn. Never in my life. So you got like three more levels above this, it looks like. Wow. 
This is wild, isn't it? This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, me and Grace love uh, checking out the old lodges in yeah. uh, National Park. There's a buffalo behind you, but you're sleeping. What was that, that bud? That was fun! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I love your donkey. This isn't a donkey, it's a bison. Oh, of course it never fails. This stuff happens like right before you're leaving. Multiple things you're not supposed to do as an RVer when it comes to black tanks. I basically did it all wrong. Did not use a good water ratio with the, the nasty stuff. I did not put in something to break down the solids. I, mean, I just dared this thing to clog on me. I've never had a clogged black tank before now. Um, I tried using the jets that does the tank clean. That didn't do anything. So I tried a trick I saw online where you sort of, where you fill the gray water into the hose and try to use the hose to sort of push it up and, and clog it. Fill, and I'll, I'll give credit in the description. You guys are awesome, but yeah. So here we are. Thankfully we have an awesome neighbor. Yes. Also a member of Team Journey, so yeah. thank you for coming over. They're gonna, there's, there's the info, so. Oh um, my goodness. So yeah, sometimes you just gotta call on the pros. Yeah, Yellowstone's about 30 minutes that way. We do not want. An old place. Yeah, a poop geyser going on. <laughs> Fire in the hole! Good sign, right? Yep. Yeah, we'll just leave it there for a minute. I think I just expected to like explode into it. <laughs> Which is not a good thing, but for video it might have been. It's so embarrassing when people are working with your poop. Well none of that's mine. I've gone to the bathhouse. I well I mean, I, I don't poop. This, this is <laughs> what we do so that we live in there. Right? That's true. So I mean you'll go to extremes I guess if it's what you want to do. Yeah. More than that be coming out? Oh yeah, there's still gonna be, there'll be some as I work it out. Okay, because I knew it was cool. We're pretty close. <laughs> some reality of it. Thank you. Make sure you love on your RV techs. They could definitely save the day. For the first time ever, two things really, <laughs> uh, we are going to be teaming up with Finding Our Someday for an event. But it's not just any event. In April of 2024, we have a total eclipse coming through Path of Totality and parts of the US. And we have secured an amazing location right on the Path of Totality in Texas, April 6th through the 9th. We're gonna have campfires and meals and just amazing activities and to view the eclipse. We secured 90 sites. 60 of those are water and electric. 30 of those are dry camping. So if you want water and electric, those are gonna go yeah. really fast. <laughs> if you wanna get into the event at all, we're figuring 90 sites are probably gonna go pretty fast. It is really tough to find a spot to view the eclipse. Yes, we anticipate these will go fast. So head over to nightlightrally.com, grab your ticket to witness this eclipse with us. I can't wait to experience it with you. So we are looking forward to it. Can't wait to see you there.